All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta. Learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 90. All right. So notice that the uh, pardon me, album art in the HTML and songs in the user data dot songs array have changed. Right? Yeah. So we got a little AI art and these uh, five songs here. Uh, they've swapped out the original songs for shorter ones that we can use to test our app in uh, the upcoming steps. So next, we're going to need to check if there is a next song to play. We'll retrieve the current song index by calling the get current song index function and save it to, pardon me, save it in a current song index constant. All right. Uh, after that, we're going to create a next song exists constant that contains the Boolean value true or false, depending on if the next song exists. All right. So yeah, let's start off by saying const, uh, and then we'll do current song, whoops, song index. And what that's going to equal is the get current song index function, right? Cap that off with a semicolon. And then this next one, const uh, next song exists. We're going to have to use a little critical thinking on this one, right? So... It's going to be a Boolean whether uh, the next song exists or not. So basically, uh, if, like, let's say we're on this one right here. We're on Sailing Away, right? And then we do uh, get current song index. <coughs> pardon me. Uh, for the next song. And what am I trying to say? If, we're trying, if we get current song index for the next song, uh, it's not going to exist. So if the next song if the next song exists or whatever uh, does not is less than or equal to this uh, list right here, it's not going to exist. All right. So basically uh, what we're going to do here is say current song index, current song index needs to be less than or equal to. And then we're going to use uh, user data dot songs dot length. So we'll say uh, user data dot songs dot length. But the other thing about that length, there we go. But the other thing about that is, as we know, uh, user data dot songs dot length is going to give us five, right? But we're looking for the index. So the index is a zero, one, two, three, four. So we're going to have to subtract one from this as well. So we'll say minus one. And that should take care of it, right? So that when it gets to Whatever this uh, non-existent song, it will know that it doesn't actually exist and it'll, it'll uh, throw a false, all right? So let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 91 and we'll see you next time.